Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is One's Future Gamer once again, and today I'm going to be doing my reaction to episode 3 of the English dub of The Duke of Death and His Maid. So let's just jump straight into it here. I'm excited. I don't really have much of anything to say at the beginning of this one, quite honestly, so yeah, let's just do it. Yeah, I'm not going to be cutting this per this part out here because it's just more editing for me. have to worry about and I'm afraid I might forget <laughs> like if I skip it right now I'm afraid I might forget to edit it out so I'll just edit out the uh, intro once I get to that Sounds like absolute hell. Like one of the worst kinds of hell. I mean, I kind of feel it, but only because I don't at the moment have anyone that I love on that level. You know? If I did, I couldn't imagine. <laughs> ah, I love Alice. <laughs> Probably not do it because you'll kill her if you do. And if she asked for something like that, it would obviously be a joke. <laughs> uh, oh, God, he's wearing, I forgot about this. He's wearing a pl essentially a plague doctor's mask. Jesus. That's kind, kind of makes him stand out, too. <laughs> Uh, I love it. He's not even listening because he's too focused on trying to catch up to her in that seemingly very clunky outfit. I mean, I, I guess maybe it was intentional for him to stand out with that strange looking outfit so that nobody will approach him and accidentally touch him and die. I guess that would make sense. Oh, this is her introduction. Yeah, she's kind of one of the most mysterious characters in the series and kind of bitchy at some points. She's a witch, which is going to be important later on. Yeah. It's a good thing that people who touch that people can touch his clo the clothes that he's wearing without dying, which I guess includes this uh, outfit right here. Or else that little boy would be dead right now. <laughs> I 
Dark humor is very hit or miss with me, but I do like lots of different types of dark humor, and this series definitely is right up my alley in that regard. Uh, sounds really good. It's not the kind. Of, it's not the kind of music that I'd ever want to listen to like individually. But I really love when I hear this kind of music in like an anime, for example, or a movie or something. Whether it's part of the soundtrack or it's like organically put in like here, like he's actually playing the piano and that's why the music is playing. Which I actually like even more. I really love when music like this is added in organically like this. Um, so yeah. I mean, he spent so much time alone, he's got to have some skills by now. You know, playing the piano, playing pool, you know. Well, skills and or hobbies. Playing the piano, playing pool, uh, reading, you know. Not just playing music either, but writing his own music, which he stated, I believe, last episode that he's doing. <laughs> uh, I wonder if someone's made like a top 10 or not necessarily a top 10 but like a comp compilation for this series on YouTube yet I'm going to look it up real quick if not then that's something that I'll have to get on or hell even if someone has I still might do that at some point Okay, so it looks like people have done that. Yeah, lots of people have done that, okay. Never mind. But, again, I still might do that at some point, though, regardless. I don't care how many there are, it, it deserves more. Most definitely. I don't remember this from the original. Obviously it was in there. Even though I've experienced this two other times. I wonder if this is supposed to be foreshadowing as to why exactly the uh, Duke was cursed. Because I've heard a theory in the fandom that the uh, witch... I've heard two theories in the fandom. One, that the witch wanted to be with the Duke. And so he cursed him to keep him away from other people. Or she cursed him to keep him away from other people. The other theory I've heard was that the witch that cursed Duke was actually Sher Sharon, Alice's mother. Um, and and so she cursed Duke so that the two of them could like be together in this like really twisted sort of way. Those are the two theories that I've heard. Um. And later on, we're, I, I don't know if this has been revealed yet in this dub or not. I don't think it has. But later on, we're going to reveal that not only is Sharon, Sharon dead, but also the witch that cursed him is dead. Which, the people who like that theory use that as more fuel for it. Well, there was that scene. <laughs> Extremely awkward family dinner for, like, two, literally five seconds. <laughs> okay? I mean, it's it's an important scene. It kind of shows that, you know, this family is extremely formal and extremely awkward. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think a lot of us do that, though, to be, to, to be totally fair.